Okay, so here we'll be looking at how do we find the units digit of a sum or a product. So first we'll be looking at the sum. So the example is find the units digit of the number 2 raised to power 67 plus 3 raised to power 74. So what we do is here, we simply find the units digit of this particular number and units digit of this particular number and then we can just add them to get the units digit of the resultant number. So first for 2 raised to power 67, let's see the pattern here. So 2 raised to power 1 is 2, then 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into 2 is 8, 8 into 2 is 16, but 6 into 2 is 12, which again gives us 2. So here the cycle length is 4. Now this could be written as 2 raised to power 64 plus 3. Now 64 plus 3 basically here we can remove 64 because 64 is divisible by 4 and the cycle length is 4. So the last digit would be the last digit of 2 raised to power 3 which is 8. So we get for 2 raised to power 67 the last digit is 8. Now for 3 raised to power 74 we will again check the pattern so 3 then 9, 9 threes are 27, so we get a 7, 7 into 3, 21, we get 1, and again the we get into 3 which is 3, so again the cycle length is 4, so here 72 is divisible by 4, so we write it as 72 plus 2, this is same as last digit of 3 square, which is 9. Now the last digit of 2 raised to power 67 plus 3 raised to power 74 is equal to last digit of 2 raised to power 67 plus the last digit of 3 raised to power 74. This is nothing but 8 plus 9. 8 plus 9 which is 17 therefore the last digit the units digit of the sum would be 7 so 7 is the correct answer similarly now we can look at the product so again we simply need to multiply the units digit of this and the units digit of this in this case so we saw the pattern length for 3 is 4 we have already seen that here so 3 raised to power 424 so here 424 is already divisible by 4. So this is equivalent to last digit of 3 raised to power 4. So for 3 raised to power 4, we saw here that the last digit is 1. So this is equal to 1. Now for 6 raised to power 324, we can first form the pattern. So 6, then 6, 6 are 36 and 36, 6 are so basically there is no pattern in fact the last digit will always be 6 so the last digit is always 6 in this case so therefore the last digit of 3 raised to power 424 into 6 raised to power 324 is equal to 1 into 6 which is equal to 6 so 6 is the required answer